Hello, this is Brad again. I'm going to be talking today about calibrating a star probe and some of the ins and outs of that. The first thing is really in your setup. So in your probe setup, that's where it's important. Or that's how you really define that you're using a star probe. So if you're not familiar with how to do setup probes, we'll have to look at another video for that. Basically, I'd start out, I just gave it a name. So in this case, I just called it star. You might call it star two millimeter or whatever you whatever you want to call it, correct? And then um, I happen to be using, I just pulled this, just created one. I happened to choose a Renishaw probe, 20i standard. That's this one here. You might have something different. And so you might have some different options than what I've got selected here. Because whenever you're creating probes, it does depend on what, Pro body you're using, whether it's a Tessa, um, Brinishaw, whatever brand that you've got, that you're gonna, the ch choices will be different. So, and I use this on another program, so that's why I'm just using this probe to show you. I have in here, I just have an extension that's, if we look at this, so basically I've got this 20 millimeter extension in here. The next one is the important one. Okay, so if you go down in your your selections okay so these are typically you just a standard probe you just you know tip five by 20 or, or whatever in this case we got to come up and we're going to choose one of these first ones ones that have star in it okay that's what tells it that it's a star stylus and it uses these this with the connection points here so that's the first step is you got to choose one of these now just select the one that's closest you may not have it exactly right and that's okay um, get as close as you can as far as the obviously the diameter of the ball or the stylus and then the length so that's that's what's important and also in if you go if we go back to this you'll look so you've got tip one through five so tip one is this one that's going down Okay, that and that's what's important. So that length is going to be this this standard length here, right? So from so basically your connection to the center of the, the ball is that 18 millimeters. All right. Okay. So that's the first step. And then after that, you're going to go in and select your others. So basically how it works is tip one again is that one that's that's straight down. Okay. And then you've got tip two which is this one here that's on the right or zero degrees if you're looking straight down however you want to call this this stylus here so this is number two and then it goes counterclockwise so it goes to number two sorry two three four five so if we do that again we start down here this is number one two three four and then five so you go through and define all of those now typically those are all going to be the same you could do a custom where you're each of these are going to be a little different based on what you're trying to measure the challenge with star probes is interference you know so if you're measuring here are these going to hit anything or or even this one that's pointing down so you always got to be thinking about okay does, does that is this setup going to work for what i'm what i'm trying to measure once you have all of those selected it's going to automatically put in your a0 b0 which is the one straight our standard probe straight up and down and then it's also going to put in tips one two three all the way to five okay so you end up having to calibrate all of those now you can put in different angles if you need so for example if you needed to measure something that you know stylus probes or sorry star probes are really nice when you're trying to to measure you know all sides of a part without having to do tip rotations so it can save you a lot of time but maybe perhaps you've got a you know a hole that's at an angle or something that you want to do like for example let's say we want to measure this hole right here and if that hole i it's let's say that's at what that's at 45 degrees so then I would have to come in and, and add an angle. Um, notice how I had it selected from CAD and I selected that. Uh, let's, didn't, that didn't quite work like I'd like it to. So let's clear that out. Um, 
let's go back to here. Let's go single. So A0, B0, let's do 45, 0. That's not what I want, right? So let's go 45 by 90. And it's okay to kind of play around this. That's not what I want either. So we want 45 by negative 90. Okay. So that that looks right to be able to, to measure that. And that may not be the right angle, but that's okay. It gives us pretty close. So we can go in and we can uh, delete that one out. Uh, then we can add those, right? When you add those, you notice that it's going to add all those tip angles. You're going to have to add all of them. Now, you may not need to calibrate every one because you, you may not be using them, but uh, it is going to add every tip angle. So if you think about a 45 by 90, it's going to do tips 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of that tip angle, right? So... Hopefully that makes makes sense. Let's go back to. I'm gonna hit. Uh, I'm gonna hit cancel. Let's get rid of that just so so it's a little cleaner. No, we don't want to save that. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna discard that. Okay, so let's come back into my uh, my probe. Let's go back to star. All right, so if this was the creating this probe for the first time, I'd be you'd see asterisks up here. We're just going to calibrate. We might start with that one. We might just do all of them, either or. That's that's fine. Okay, so we're going to measure now. Unfortunately, I don't have access to a CMM, so this is offline. I can't really show you exactly how it's going to work, or you know, as far as the movement of the of the machine. But basically, you have it set up just like any other stylus, or any you're going to calibrate it the same. It knows that it's a star probe. Okay, um, you can do whatever number hits. This is just what I have standard, so you can change this with whatever you'd like. Now, one thing you might have to do is do this manual plus DCC instead, especially if your lengths aren't exactly right. But what that allows you to do is do a manual touch, and it helps teach the or calibrate I'll, you know teach calibrate the length of that stylus each each one so tip number one two three four and five it's going to do that for you all right so that's that's kind of the key there also when you set up this man like physically on your machine you're just going to kind of eyeball that this is this is perpendicular or parallel to your axis, whatever you're, you, what I like to do is set up a part, or maybe I've got a plate on there that I've, that's pretty square to the machine. I like to drive the machine down to it, and then I use an edge to kind of line up my stylus as best as I can. It's just kind of an eyeball, and, and maybe you want to get it closer than that, but for me, I just line it up, and then you can snug it, make, it make sure it's tight, and then make sure it's aligned with your edge. So whether you use like an edge of your part, uh, however it works for you, make sure that that's pretty square or parallel, whichever way you want to say it to your to your machine. Okay, that's that's really important. But you're not going to get it exact, right? So that's why I use this manual plus DCC the first time, and that's going to teach the location of each of these stylus or styli. Okay. So that's kind of the important part there. Once you hit measure, it's just the same. So yes or no, however you want to do it. And you know, let's say no, my the sphere hasn't moved. And then that's pretty straightforward. Now the key is you're gonna do your first hit is always gonna be that normal to probe, right? So tip number one, I'm gonna be above the sphere, I'm gonna move straight down. Tip number two, I'll be on the left side of the sphere and I'll move into to the right, right? And then same as, you know, tip number three is gonna be in the back of the sphere moving forward. Tip number four is gonna be on the left of this, sorry, the right of the sphere moving left. And then tip five, you'll, sorry, I told, that, I told you wrong on tip two, or tip three. Tip three, you'll be in front of the machine going backwards. Tip five, you'll be in back of the sphere coming forwards. 
I hope that makes sense. I, I wish I had a machine that I could show you how that works. And then after that, you're good. Now, if, if once you've got it calibrated the first time and you want to come back and recalibrate, now you can just go back to the regular DCC because all of your parameters are of that stylus are set. Okay. Hope that makes sense. I hope that's clear. If not, leave me a comment and I'll try to clarify anything that I might have missed. Hope this works.